Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the next, our new series uh, with the game Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power and Revolution, and I am playing with the 2018 add-on version here, and the new series is going to be India, but before we do that, I just want to check out a few of these scenarios for you guys, we'll go through them to see what uh, is possibly new for Geopolitical Simulator 4 uh, in the 2018 add-on. Uh, I don't think I've seen this one before. Terrorist networks are extremely active in the country. It seems major attack is in preparation. Respond swiftly and ruthlessly. Review the terrorist files and strike at the right time to stop the attack. So that's another new one. Looks like you can play as England, Germany, France, United Kingdom, Spain, Belgium, or Russia. Uh, this one's also new. U.S. North Korean global conflict. There's been a lot of that in the news lately. Uh, two leaders of North Korea and the United States have been at each other's throats with insults and all kinds of stuff. It makes me feel, you know, really safe as an American. Uh, after North Korea sends an unarmed intercontinental ballistic missile to the coast of the United States, tension grow, tensions grow between the U.S. and Korean presidents as the leader of the opposition party in the U.S. legally remove the current president then eliminate the North Korean threat once and for all to prevent the start of World War. Wow, that's an interesting, unique uh, scenario there. Uh, what else do we have? Groundbreaking mission plan successfully complete a space mission that no other nation has achieved. So there's space in this new one too, that's interesting. Uh, and then first steps on Mars. Uh, the planet Mars is humanity's newest objective in space since men will walk on the moon. Be the first nation to send a human crew to the red planet. That's interesting. Um, Ronald Trump challenge. This was from 2017. So uh, basically keeping the campaign promises uh, that were made. I've tried that before. <laughs> uh, actually, I was doing pretty good with that for a while. Uh, French election, that's another thing. These are all things that have existed prior. I believe Ukraine standoff, yeah, I think that's already been their presidential wedding, 2016, opposition. And then there's a few others that uh, I could unlock, I guess, if I played a little bit more. I guess I'd have to play some of these, and then I could unlock it. But right now we're going to play for um, what has been voted on the channel, and it seems to be that the most popular... Um, vote as far as comments and polls go uh, the most popular series that's requested is India there we go uh, India is a federal republic uh, parliamentary regime conservative rightist group capital New Delhi it's gonna be the all roads lead to Delhi or um, New Delhi is there, is there a Delhi too? Uh, all roads lead to Delhi which means uh, has certain specific goals that I'm gonna have here GDP is two point Four trillion, that's a pretty big GDP. Uh, but GDP per capita is, I don't think, that high. I think it's on here. Army is huge. Huge. Elections in 500 days. Oh, there it is. GDP per capita. Oh, man, less than $2,000. That's horrible. So, we're going to play as India here. Very large population. We are the conservative right, or the conservative liberal party. I love those. Um... Right there, we have 283 seats in uh, Parliament. 52% of Parliament is controlled. Oh, that's good. We control 52% of Parliament. That means we could probably pass any type of laws we want. We've got the Indian Communist League, the Socialist Labor League, the Indian Social Front, the League of Social Democrats, League of Pioneering Democrats, Group of Sovereign Radicals, and Independence Movement. Alright, so those are the groups we have here, and we're going to go ahead and get this free mode rulers game started. Uh-oh, what the heck? Ge Geopolitical Simulator is, first of all, a game. The scenarios and events taking place in it are political fiction. All names, photos, symbols displayed in the game are fictitious. Any resemblance with situations, facts, people, living or dead, purely coincidental. Oh, wow, they've put a disclaimer on there. I'll save that for later because I always want to look at it. Shakespeare! Nice! Uh, <laughs> I guess he's real, right? Now, that's uh, Everson uh, giving um, 
some sort of disclaimer over there. Um, probably receive some heat. I get heat sometimes on the channel. Sometimes it's like uh, the content that is posted is considered not to be uh, suitable for all advertisers. I get that a lot. But then I usually request a review, and it usually goes through. I think maybe like of the 500 or 600 games I've, or uh, videos I've posted, maybe like two or three of them didn't make it through. Uh, but there is somebody claiming copyright out there who is falsely claiming copyright. I know that. Uh, and I've been able to deal with that as well. Um, so, for this series, what do we have here? Ah, four goals in this series. Uh, all roads lead to Delhi. Goal number one is going to be super highways. I'm going to wait and play through this, see if there's anything new in this introduction here. And then I'll list the goals. Ooh, there it is. Nice. The top story of the new year is the wishes expressed by our beloved head of state last evening. In an unusually poetic speech, our head of state expressed all the precepts of party doctrine by praising the great thinkers who molded them over the years. Then he set forth the goals of the government for the year to come, particularly in matters of public safety and national defense. Finally, in a grand gesture, he began to applaud, which immediately spread like wildfire in the Congress chamber, and then set off a gigantic fireworks display for the new year. Unforgettable images were broadcast on all the national channels, and no doubt rebroadcast around the whole world. All right, I think that's a new intro. I don't remember even listening to the old intro, so I can't really tell you. Uh, we're going to get some stuff here, I guess, uh, right off the bat. Before we go there, but let me list the goals. I, was, I wanted to do that during the transition, but that went pretty quickly. Um, four goals in this series. We are going to um, connect... Oh. All these cities. Is that what I said? Uh, I'm going to connect all of these cities with highway and railroad. Or highway or railroad? Yeah, it says highway or railroad. That's what I posted. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> this is insane, all these cities. Oh my god, how are we going to connect all these? Alright, so that's going to cost... That's going to take a lot of time. If I get that done, that'll be amazing. Um... Goal number two is develop a space program. I think I could probably get that going. Um, nothing about competitiveness there. I wonder if there's anything. Ah, here we go. Space research. So, interesting. 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 Um, discoveries. Building. Launch pad. We have one. So I guess there is kind of a space program here. But I guess, I think there's probably, ah, here we go. Objective. I guess maybe achieve an objective would be the goal. We might have to redefine that goal. Right now. Launch space program. Hmm. I'm gonna take a look at this more. And okay, this is interesting. Wow. Getting cool here. So we geopolitical simulator four is now going into outer space here. Ah, oh, this is cool. Are these all... What are these? Journey to Mars. Type of program. Walking on Mars. Oh my god, this is so cool. Uh, objective is Mars. Interests. Initi initiator is the United States. Date of creation. Is there anything that we can initiate? Cape Canaveral. I wonder if there's any other types of options out there. Technology required. Look at all these different technologies. Oh, we're going to have to spend a lot of money on technology if we're going to get something going here. Wow. Are there any... Space Y. <laughs> Not SpaceX, Space Y. Uh, you are the initiator. Launch pad is Cape Canaveral. Wow, okay. This is all really cool stuff here. Technology and programs acquired. Lists of partner countries. Oh, I wonder if we can become a partner country with some of these objectives. I wish there were objectives that weren't already up. What is that? The Human Space Pro Space Flight Program. Is that India? Wow, we've already initiated something. Okay, and we have partnered with Russia. Wow, this looks really cool. Okay, so uh, that was another... I'm going to go ahead. What is that? Oh man, now we are looking, now we're cooking here. Aha! 
Aha. Uh -huh. Wow, we can set up other programs. Satellites, space telescopes, living in space. Oh my god, this is really cool. Space hab uh, habitation module, construction of space station, Indian space station maybe, light rockets, medium to heavy rockets, super heavy rockets. Wow, I wonder if we should build the rockets first. Okay, this game got really cool really fast. A new dynamic has come into play here. And this is really cool. And it's gonna take me some time to explore this. Oh my god, I love this. Alright, so what's the other one? So it's uh looks like the blue are ours. What is that? Space probe with exploration robot. Objective is the moon! Oh, we're going to the moon! Okay. Um what's this? Why is that? Woo! Oh my god, I can click on moons of Jupiter, Io, Europa, there are, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, Pluto, we could go to Pluto, oh my god, this game got really cool, I like Kerbal, uh, Ker Kerbal Space, I never really had the time to master uh, things, but I always like the space concept and the concept of like a space program. Uh, Buzz Aldrin, I haven't, I haven't played Buzz Aldrin's space program yet, but I'd like to get into that. And then of course there's uh, Surviving Mars or something like that, I think is another one coming up. This looks really cool. Space exploration is definitely an area of fascination for me. Venus! Can we colonize Venus? Space Station. The Moon. Space Telescope. Artificial Satellite. Space hab Habitation Module. Okay. There is definitely a lot of stuff going on here. Who do we got down here? Physicist? Meteorologist? That's, that was that. Okay. Um, discoveries. Wow. I'm definitely going to have to take a look at this. Let me know what you guys think about space programs. Alright, I've definitely just... Uh, physics of the Universe. Oh, oh, oh. Astronomy, exobiology, supporting human life in space, astronaut training, space propulsion. I want to max out all of these if I can. All right, so that's goal number two. We're going to do something with space. Um, post down below in the comments. Let me know what exactly you think you want me to do in space. Is there like a space objective? Don't get too crazy. It's my first time. Uh, but <laughs> going to Pluto, that would be crazy. That's kind of that's maybe a little too ambitious. Some sort of space achievement. We're going to figure that one out. Uh, goal number three is economic and military supremacy over China. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at China real quick. Um, here we go. Economic supremacy. That means we should have a GDP greater than China. Oh my god, that's never gonna happen. Ten trillion dollar GDP. I couldn't get the ten trillion with Brazil before everything crashed. Oh man, okay. Alright. Okay. Look at that, share of the world's GDP. Yeah. Well, if we care, that's goal, and goal number four. So it was uh, economic and military supremacy over China. Army, their army's definitely bigger, but let's see. Oh, look at the nuclear. We almost have them in nuclear warheads. But I wonder if I could measure this by the, another indicator. There is... A, oh, cyber crime too. There's also cyber uh, warfare in this as well. In this 2018 add-on, I'm a fan of the 2018 add-on. Where was I going? I was going somewhere else. Military, security, military power index. There it is. Okay, maybe we can measure it by this. So uh, military supremacy would be us surpassing them in. Uh, oh, that says prison population. Did I not hit that root? That says prison population. Why is prison population there? Oh no, it looks like a bug. Okay, I think this is um, military. Oh, what the heck? That's a density. 
economics. Not economics. Security. And military power index. Why does that go to prison population? Oh man, Everism, get that, get that. Somebody fix that. Military power index goes right to prison population for some reason. Prison population goes to crime rate. Wait a minute. Okay. So do I go here? And now I have the military power index. Alright, so it's just two off. Um, and look at this. We have a bigger military power index than the United States. I don't know how this military power index works. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe it's people in the military. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not yet as an indicator for military supremacy over China. We're going to keep that there. So, uh, Alright, so three goals so far. All roads. Oh, man. How am I going to get all these roads? Uh, we got to build roads everywhere, I guess. Throughout the entire... Or railroads throughout the entire continent. There are way too many cities. Um, yeah. Good lord. Uh, so we'll figure that one out. And then... Um, goal number two was a space program. Goal number three is military and economic supremacy over China. There are two hotspots in the Chinese-Indian uh, relations. Uh, this is the region of Kashmir, correct? And here you have the Kashmir Autonomous League. Um, so that region is a little unstable. There's Kashmir. And then there's also instability, I think out here, Communist groups out here that are supposedly being funded and influenced by the Chinese. There it is, Communist Regionals, their political ascendancy, the Assam Free Front. So, those are two areas where we'll have to work on containing any uh, Chinese sphere of influence expansion. There looks like they have their own little rebellion groups up here. If I can click on it, okay. Pan Islamic group, okay, so there's some Islamic rebels. Or radicals in China. Uh, looks like we got good relations with uh, Japan, parts of Europe, not all of Europe. Some with good relations with the United States. I don't think there's. Uh, it doesn't look like we have like great relations with anybody, uh, except for maybe Tajikistan up there. Is that Tajikistan? Or no, Uzbekistan. We have really good relations with Uzbekistan. Uh, yeah. So all right, I got distracted there. All right. So like I was saying. Uh, all roads lead to Delhi, connect all the cities, somehow, roads or railroads, wow, yeah. Um, space program, economic and military supremacy over China, and then the fourth goal is to crash an economy. And that, I assume, is to be done under Secret Service somehow. So, cybersecurity, citizen awareness of cyber, launch a... Cyber protection program for administration and f infrastructures. Launch a massive cyber attack. Maybe that's what we were doing. Launch a cyber attack to rig a foreign election. <laughs> Launch a military cyber attack. Okay. 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 Interesting. So those are the goals of the series. And those are some new features for this series. I don't know where to begin, to be honest with you. Always begin with uh, the budget, for sure. I don't think I'm going to be getting into too much of this video. This is much more of an introductory video to the different features and uh, goals that we have in the series. Look at this deficit. Oh no, 86 billion. How do we fix that? Ah, uh, wow, 305 million. Billion. 305 billion. They're making no money. Jeez, that deficit. What's the public debt? Oh my god. Deficit in GDP. Where's our GDP? GDP is a trillion. But the debt... And... Get off that. Click on India. Oh boy. There's India. Okay. All right, 2.4. All right, so the uh, debt is only 50% of the GDP. That's not bad. 
That's not hard. I can do like that, but it's a lot. It's gonna be a lot to bring down. Probably gonna go ahead and pull this trick off early on, like always. Oh, we're not really spending a lot, are we? And wow. Yeah, it's gonna take me some time to take a look at this. Unemployment rate is at 3.3%. Inflation is at 4.9. Growth is at 7. Point, or 6.79. Let's take a look at our military. What kind of military do we have here? We saw 1.3, or almost 1.4 million soldiers with those guys that'll put it over. Um, tanks. About 4,000. Almost 5,000 tanks. Missile launchers, 3,500. Helicopters, 800. Drones, 88 drones. Fighters, rank 2. Over 2,000 of those. 67 frigates and cruisers, rank 2. 15 submarines, 1 aircraft carrier, uh, 1 nuclear submarine, and 7 satellites. Nice. That's pretty good. Land bases, we've got 8, 18 air bases, 10 naval bases. Alright, interesting, interesting. Dismantle nuclear missiles. Pronounce nuclear missiles. Produce! Excuse me. Nuclear missiles in secret. Ah, I might want to do that. That's interesting. Okay, what else do we want to look under here? What's our energy situation looking like? Energy breakdown. National consumption versus production. We're producing a lot of energy. And that's the other thing. We're probably producing tons of stuff that we can sell. And ideally, the best person to sell to is going to be the United States. We're going to try to sell a whole bunch of stuff to the United States. Make a good relationship with uh, the Americans. Thailand? What about, oh, Australia. We can maybe get a good ally with Australia and maybe Japan. They might be good allies and even maybe Thailand. So I might even want to focus on some deals there. We could possibly buy stuff from Indonesia. I think Indonesia probably has cheap resources and maybe some cheap stuff in Thailand as well, but I think Australia and Japan will be markets just like the United States and nope, not New Zealand. New Zealand is not happy. So we do want to try to contain the Chinese. And then there's also Taiwan. I wonder if we could sell like weapons or something to Taiwan or even Vietnam too. They could be possible uh, regional checks to the Chinese. We don't have bad relations with Russia. Uh, there is this Afghan war going on, and of course there's Pakistan, which is a India rival, and Bangladesh. And I think maybe Sri Lanka could be something of a grab, maybe a land grab there. Those are all possibilities. But crashing a country's economy was one of the goals. It didn't say China specifically, it said probably China. Uh, that would help with, uh, giving us more, um... I don't know, can I really crash an economy? I guess I crash it with a cyber attack, right? Is that how it goes? Crypto... Cryptography and cybersecurity. Political espionage, military espionage, industrial espionage. Asian training, counterintelligence. Those are all the same categories. And I guess the place to crash the economy would be here. Launch a massive cyber attack. Massive state-sponsored cyber attack consists of introducing viruses in the country's information systems at all levels of society and its infrastructures in order to saturate and dis or disrupt and ultimately paralyze and knock out those systems. Such attacks are condemned by the international community, but in reality, it is rare that anyone is able to verify the source of these attacks and certainty. Hmm. So we're going to probably launch that on China at some point, uh, but I'm going to build up my infrastructure uh, first. Launch cyber protection program for administrators and infrastructure. Level of cyber protection plan. We're going to want that up to gold, probably. Yo. Everything that comes with silver cyber protection. That's everything that comes with bronze cyber protection. Let's see. Training sessions to educate public service staff. Usage of secure messaging for all personnel. Okay, that'll take a month. This takes three months for the silver plan. Uh, everything that comes with bronze, mandatory cyber security, audit for state 
Service is an administrative mandatory degree course for all administrative personnel. Mandatory ISOCEI 27031 certification for vital infrastructures, public safety, transportation, and supply of electricity, gas, and water. That will cost uh, three months. And then the gold program, six months. And we're adding annual cybersecurity audit of public services, including resilience test for vulnerable administrators, usage of secure portable phone for all personnel, usage of audit certified software operating systems, creation of high security whatever certified data centers built underground in national territory. So we gotta protect those emails, basically. <laughs> Should have had that earlier, probably. All right. So that is a general overview of India. I think they're these countries are now italicized for some for some reason. I don't think they were italicized in the previous game before the 2018. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, but it looks cool, and I love the space program. Cyber stuff is going to be interesting to explore. Will we actually achieve goal number three? I am doubting it, but, and goal number one, I also doubt that, um, but two and four, I think I could do, so those goals will be down, posted down below, uh, feel free to post comments, uh, down below, let me know what you think of the series, uh, second place on the polls was Turkey, or the Ottoman Empire, so I am gonna also probably do an Ottoman Empire series, uh, Romania had some popularity, but I don't think I can do more than two series at a time, so I'm going to have to shelve that one for now, all the Romanian fans out there. Please think of more specific goals and everything for Romania. Uh, if anyone provides Patreon funding, however, or sufficient Patreon funding, it might turn the tide. Uh, but I really don't think I can get more than six videos out a week, at least during the school year. Once summer comes around, things might be different. I don't know if I'll still be playing these series in the summer. Uh, but also in summer, when summer comes around, I'll definitely be doing more live streaming. Uh, when I get a new place and better internet and all that stuff. Again, apologies for that botched live stream over the weekend. Um, so I think that's going to be it for now. I'm probably going to test this out through the week. And uh, I might do a turkey episode at some point before the week is over. Uh, starting the restoration of the Ottoman Empire. Um, just as an introductory. And then next weekend we'll probably get into some more of these actual strategies in games that I'm doing gaming that I'm going to do to try to achieve these goals that were set forth and everything. Thanks for your support as always. Uh, click on Patreon if you want to add, contribute to my uh, channel. Uh, I also enabled sponsorships and super chats, but super chats, I guess those are things that you do with live streaming, uh, which is going to have to be postponed for a while, like I said. But thanks again for all the support over the weekend. Thank you for voting in the polls and letting me, let me know in the comments and let me know what you guys think about uh, potential new series. I hope you're looking forward to this India series. I think a lot of people are. Um, and there's also going to be a restoring the old Ottoman Empire series, which will be coming out as well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.